It's just stuff. All right, first beat. You can now dress like your favorite TV characters. Did you know that? Shows like Downton Abbey, Sons of Anarchy, and Game of Thrones all have clothing lines based on the shows. And you know what my first thought was when I heard that? I want to dress like Olivia Pope. <laughs> and you know what? Why not? I can. <laughs> There's a new scandal clothing line at the Limited. My girl Bree over here is wearing it. Bree, now you gotta pop your collar up there a little bit. Yes. You feel like a gladiator already. Oh, yeah. Todd, are you, Todd, don't tell me you are you wearing the Todd, <laughs> what are you doing wearing that? Todd, that the scandal clothing line looks too. good on you. <laughs> wow. Well, just because you're not having an affair with the president doesn't mean you can't look like you are. It's a scandal. <laughs> Todd, that is priceless. Brie, you look great, but Todd, that is priceless. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gladiators together. All right, my next Daily Beat. I thought this was cool, or very interesting at least. A professor at Cornell uh, did a study that showed where you sit in a restaurant actually affects how much you eat. Did you know that? Yeah. Someone knew that out there? Yeah. That lady right there knew that. But guess what? None of us knew that <laughs> but you. I'm glad you knew it. You should have shared that with me. <laughs> Professor Brian Wansick visited 27 restaurants for his new book, Slim by Design. He found that people who sat at the back of the restaurant ate fewer salads, and they were 73% more likely to order dessert. That's interesting. He also found that the healthiest eater sat by the window. Another good place to sit is uh, at those high top tables. You see those high top tables in restaurants? I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to slouch in a chair like that <laughs> or, or spread out. You, you got to pop. I mean, if you're getting dessert. <laughs> I know you're laughing because it's not just me who sits down. Don't you sit down? As soon as you sit down, you pop that top button to get ready. You can't pop that top button at that chair. Everybody's going to see. <laughs> you have to recruit your car, especially if you're ordering a few drinks. So that's probably where you should sit if you don't want to bust out of your clothes inspired by... Scandal. <laughs> Let me calm down. Next beat. Cougars might now be an endangered species. Yeah. No, not that, no, not that kind of cougar. <laughs> that kind of cougar. <laughs> yeah. As it turns out, Match.com did a study that found that 76% of single women would not be in a committed relationship with a man who's 10 years younger than them. Another 24, you said, game on! <laughs> How many of you would marry a much, much younger man? <laughs> that's, that's, that's about 24%. Okay, what if it was uh, Zac Efron? <laughs> I got a frisky audience in here. <laughs> they don't want to say. Next beat, is anyone else overwhelmed by all the emails you get in one day? I know some of y'all have like a thousand emails. Is anybody in the 2,000 email club? <laughs> oh, you in the 5,000 email club. It gets crazy if you don't clear them. You know how it just piles up and up and up. And every time you go to a store and you sign up, you just get more emails. Well, I saw an article in Time Magazine where former Google CEO Eric Schmidt gave his nine rules for emailing. He says that you should respond quickly, write short answers, and last in, first out. And that's very helpful. Thanks, Eric. But 
Eric, come on, do we really need nine rules? I think I can boil it down to two for you because you're my boy, we cool like that. <laughs> you want to hear the queen's rules for emailing. <laughs> Rule number one, never, ever, ever hit reply all. <laughs> Nothing good ever comes from reply all. I know some of you have done it. And rule number two, always follow rule number one. Yeah. I'm telling you, you have to listen to me on this because if you don't, you could get yourself into a scandal. and you won't have Olivia Pope to fix it for you. So don't do that. All right, and for my last beat, I just saw this on TV yesterday. Joel o Olstein. you guys know who Joel Olstein is? <laughs> I love Joel Olstein. He just announced that he's launching a new radio channel, Joel Olstein, on Sirius XM. And I love me some Joel Olstein. And God, I got to smile like this, and he tells stories that just don't. I mean, he sends inspirational emails every day. These are the emails I love to receive. I wake up, they give me something positive to go into my day with, and I really appreciate that. So good luck with that, Joel. And I promise never to delete them or hit reply all. <laughs> even if you want me to. I don't play that reply all. Not even for you, Joel. Because I wouldn't want to cause a scandal. <laughs> I'm going to work on it. It's going to get really good. And those, my friends, are my daily beats.